Hi everyone, you might have seen I've got a couple of videos on my channel that are things like my regrets studying physics or my regrets studying math and in those videos I don't talk about like absolutely soul crushing regrets of mine um, but just things I wish I'd done differently. So today I'm joined by Jess and Jess is an engineer, that's what she's studied and I guess we're gonna ask her what some of her regrets are along the way. So Jess, what was your degree and what did you study? So I studied, I have a master's in mechanical engineering and I have a bachelor's in like combined mechanical and aeronautical engineering. All right, so from this point, like how do you feel about that degree? Like, <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Does anything strike you as maybe something you would have done differently? Um, you know, I was thinking about it and at first there's not like I don't have you know something that's very striking like oh like my entire life would be different mm -hmm. if I had done this one different thing um, and that's that's actually one of my points is that one thing that I kind of regret that I did a lot in school was I stressed a lot yeah. <laughs> and it kind of seems like a stupid regret maybe like I don't know stressing isn't that big of a deal um, but that's what I mean, like, I don't really feel like I regret so much, but at the time, I was really stressed about things. Like, mm -hmm. if I didn't do well in an exam, I would really be hard on myself, or not, like, punish myself, but then I would, like, miss a party or something that I wanted to go to, because I'd be like, no, I have to study super hard. Yeah. And in the end, I mean, I'm here now, and you could, I guess, argue I'm here because I did all of that studying. But also, I think a lot of those little things that we worry about don't really matter in the I, future. I understand that, yeah. Like, through all of the studies I've done, I have been, you know, quite a, maybe a stressed out person, but someone that does care about the details, like aiming for an unreasonably high mark, even mm -hmm. though getting a lower grade and being happier would probably just have been less stress all around like and especially <laughs> looking back now it probably didn't it like probably it probably doesn't matter in difference. fact what i'm doing right now for myself like on youtube and all this it doesn't matter at all but yeah i i wouldn't say so much as that i'd like go back and aim for lower grades like i wouldn't say that at all but i yeah i would probably want to be less stressed as well mm -hmm. because i think even at the time in my degree i i suspected it might not matter like I suspected that a, a grade on this one particular course wouldn't stop me from doing my dream job, but I don't know, I, I, I did worry about it probably an unreasonable amount. Yeah, like for example, <laughs> I actually, I failed um, my very first math quiz ever at my university and I felt defeated because you, you like, you're, you're kind of like a smart nerd in high school and mm. then you get to like a good university and then you start doing well and then you take your first class and then you get your first quiz and I completely failed it because, well, I mean, it was kind of stupid. It was three questions and they just said, write the answer. What kind of a math? <laughs> class only wants to see your final answer that that quiz didn't do anything for my gpa didn't do anything in life i mean i would take it and fail it again mm -hmm. <laughs> i but i did cause myself a lot of stress and you know thankfully my family is in good health but i think i did not like you know stay in touch that well with my family while mm -hmm. i was studying and my excuse was always like yeah, I'm, I'm working, I'm studying, and like they're super supportive and understood, but I kind of wish I was a better granddaughter, yeah. <laughs> daughter, and like called more mm. often and studied less. Yeah. All right, so that's that one. Have you got any other sort of regrets? Yeah, so I mean, I took a lot of really like, I, I was on this path, right? I was on a path of like studying combustion and that's all I wanted to do and so I took like turbo machinery, I took you know turbulence modeling and reactive flows and combustion all of these different like courses that were super heavy and super focused on what I wanted to do. Spoiler, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but because I was taking all these heavy courses, I still had room in my schedule because you have to take a certain number of courses a semester and I had room in my schedule to take other courses 
and I ended up taking like not like easy courses but kind of easier or not that interesting or less demanding courses because I just wanted to focus on my important courses mm -hmm. so for example I took this class called carbon capture and storage I mean no offense to <laughs> that class but it, it wasn't anything you couldn't find out after like reading the Wikipedia <laughs> <Sorry>. page <laughs> yeah. and I kind of wish I took you know there's this one class that we have at ETH and it's um, like wind wind energy and you have to end up doing it's like a lot of fluid dynamics designing the blades of the wind turbines mm -hmm. to be more efficient and stuff and I had already taken kind of a class similar because I had um, done uh, like vanes and rotors and stators inside of um, gas turbine engines so that's an internal flow the wind turbine would be an external flow so it's a different problem but yeah I was kind of like oh I don't need to take that class because I mean I've already kind of done it and I'm not interested in that either and now I'm like working in energy and I kind of wish I took yeah. something other than <laughs> combustion and I also wish I took machine learning and I know you were telling me something about you wanted to take computer science classes yeah I think one of the regrets I've mentioned on my channel before is that I probably wish I'd taken more computer science classes maybe early on because I only took really a couple and because I didn't know that they would be mm -hmm. useful or important because they weren't called physics like mm -hmm. and I was only worried about physics I didn't realize at the time that actually doing real physics involves actually knowing a lot of computer science yeah, yeah and that's the thing like I, I kind of wish I took machine learning or other computer science because it's useful in a lot of different fields but also it's when you're in school you have the time to dedicate to these kind of like more maybe difficult topics whereas now if I wanted to learn machine learning I would have to like really find the time dedicate the time mm -hmm. and like set the time aside to actually you know learn the material yeah. yeah I think it's harder to learn outside of uni but at the same time like how could you have known at the time that you didn't want to take that combustion course like mm -hmm. I, I, I struggle with this like how do you know exactly what courses you want to take because I do think you probably might end up doing some completely different subject and you didn't even take any of those courses um, and that happens quite a lot mm -hmm. but how do you know that beforehand like I don't know I guess the only advice would be to just take a bit of a variety of courses so that at least you've covered the bases of a few different mm -hmm. things yeah that's what I, I would do I would suggest taking a variety of courses and yeah I, I think my regret is though like taking that carbon capture Just course that <laughs> no like yeah like um, I also had to take a humanities course mm. and I had taken what is science <laughs> as my like philosophy course when I could have taken I don't know like um, history of math mm. or something really cool but instead I, I didn't want to take a more demanding class yeah. because I wanted to focus on my master's thesis and on my harder courses yeah. and then I have one more regret and that's there have been times where I have gone for an interview and it was kind of like I wasn't really too worried like I hadn't really prepared I didn't really know what the interview would entail and I didn't really want the job but in hindsight I kind of regret not and then the, the interview ended up asking some like actual technical questions which I didn't prepare for and in hindsight I kind of wish I had prepared more because yeah you, you it's just nice to have the option I think related to that is you know having the option to take the job is I actually sort of regret not having a better relationship with like my professors mm. um, in the sense that when you apply for jobs you often need to have reference letters mm -hmm. and to ask for reference letters can be a little bit awkward unless you have really good relationships with these professors and they actually know who you are so mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for the purpose of being prepared for jobs and these internships, I would say 
you know, don't disregard the need to get reference letters and think, you know, who are you going to ask for these from? You need some people on your side to be able to get these. Yeah, and yeah. you know, so so that's actually the one thing that I did do right. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I only did it right because I knew I was going to do a master's, mm. and I think a lot of people go to work and then they don't realize after a few years of work, then they decide, oh, I, I want to go back and get a master's and then they mm. don't have reference letters. Um, so I had known that I was going to do my master's, yeah. so I had really thought about it, but there was someone in my school, in my bachelor's that, you know, he was smart, so he had like, he was top of our class, but he had zero contact with any professor, mm. so he had to just kind of like knock on their door but because he had grades they wrote him the letters yeah. but they had to be like can you tell me something about yourself <laughs> yeah like i i definitely didn't have any enemies amongst the professors or anything but i was just i just very much kept to myself sometimes and also at the end i probably thought well maybe i should have gone to more of that person's tutorials and lectures and yeah. of skipping them <laughs> And just doing the problems myself because at the end of the day I would kind of like a reference from that person and I don't know it's it's not a big deal and I got reference letters and it was fine but yeah probably something I'd pay mm. more attention to. Do you regret skipping those <laughs> the classes? Not inherently like I didn't skip them because I was like a really bad student I just skipped them because I thought that I could probably learn better on my own and sometimes that was the case like mm -hmm. sometimes I did if I just spent an hour reading the material or the textbook or whatever and working the problems myself it would probably be more productive than me just sitting there in the lecture like just passively but just just watching so I don't regret it from that point of view but it's probably not a good look like I yeah. said if you want that professor to write you a reference letter. Mm -hmm. That's actually one of my regrets I think I went to class too much <laughs> and I'm not saying don't go to class but from my perspective I'm a visual learner yeah. and so I need to either read um, the material or do the problems and like I agree I, I yeah. have to read it to understand it yeah whereas I think I've seen so many puppy photos on Instagram from <laughs> scrolling through my phone in class and in hindsight I think I would have saved myself a lot of time if in some classes I would have just done the work on mm. my own yeah that I guess this is opening up a lot of thoughts for yeah. me about this topic we could talk about this for ages but I think yeah, I had memories of walking out of like physics lectures and some random friend I'd seen in the corridor from another class would be like, oh, T Toby, like what was that lecture you were just in? And I'd be like, oh, it was like physics. And they'd be like, oh, what'd you learn? I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> I could not tell you. <laughs> yeah. If, if I had spent that hour just reading something relevant, I would have had a much better idea of what yeah. I was doing. So I think you know, you can definitely go to less lectures, um, but maybe find a balance between, you know, still being up to date with the work. Because I, I think by the end, I did realize I didn't need to be at the lectures to learn, but I did like going to them for the sense of connection with my peers and to like find people to do the assignments with and mm -hmm. to have a relationship with the lecturer. Like there's lots of other benefits of being there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also for me, I had a fear of falling behind and then all of a sudden yeah. having like 12 chapters to learn for an exam. So going to the lectures kind of kept me like, okay, this is how much work I have to do before or like I, this is yeah. the knowledge I need to gain yeah. this week. Yeah, ideally you'd go to all the lectures and do all the work yourself, but if you're stressed yeah. time, maybe you have to sacrifice one or the other. Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you for sharing your regrets. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching.